I'm Jackie. I'm David. And uh, we're involved in a small group with Kenny and Amy Anderson. Well, we, we, we help babysit their son. So it's just like, hey, we got a small group. If you guys want to come, check it out. You know, let us know. And um, it's on this day, this time, and this time. And my reaction was, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it with my work schedule. But we realized as we, we were talking, it's just, we need to. We need that fellowship. We need that accountability. We need that. Everybody's personality just mixed, you know, um, and just everybody made you feel welcome. You know, um, it wasn't like, oh, new people, you know, um, they they made you feel welcome. And then other new people came after us and it was, this, you know, the same thing. We made them feel welcome, just like they've been there for as long as everybody else has been there. Like we all have struggles. We all have something that we're going through. And just the fact that we can just be open and honest and talk about those things and lean on each other. and. So it's just awesome to see just being relaxed and not being intimidated for what you're going to say. And uh, if you have a perspective of what the scripture says and someone else can add to it instead of just your own perspective, it just makes you go deeper. Yeah. And, that, and that's the fun part, just hearing what everybody has to say and uh, not be judged. And the honesty, I think. The honesty within the group. Um, you don't feel like if you're having a struggle with something that they're going to look down upon you with it. Um, you know, like with me getting fired recently from Applebee's and stuff, um, nobody looked down upon me for the reason. Um, everybody, like, I think that um, we just, like, we already, we already felt like it was a family as it was there, but just to see everybody come together and just pray over us and um, just being there for us, you know, holding us accountable um, with other things in our lives and just being honest with your struggles in life. The amazing thing to me was that we met with Kenny and Amy. It was at their house and we had to get together to discuss two options we were gonna take. One is we were gonna move or two, just tough it out. And uh, we didn't know which route to take. And we were thinking of, well, we're gonna move and go away to, you know, for comfort. And Kenny and Amy were just trying to tell us like the godly way how we should make our decisions. Kenny, um, he was saying something to us. It was really funny. Um, I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something like, um, well, I don't want to offend you guys or not really offend, but what's the word? I don't know. Something he goes, well, maybe I do. I don't really care. You know, he's all, but you guys have to hear this, you know? And, um, he's like, you really need to hear this. And just to know that they were in prayer for us and, um, just to see how emotional they both had gotten, um, you know, with us, with, we really feel like you guys need to stay in this area because we were going to move to St. Demas, you know? And, um, he's like, we, we haven't felt this strong about you know, anything and they really um, felt like God was really on their heart and says, You guys need to stay, you know, yeah. tough it out, tough it out. What we learned through all of this is being humble and being willing and just be at peace with God. So And to swallow your pride. Swallow your pride. Swallow your pride a lot. And there, there are easy way outs, but with God it's, it's not always the easy way. <laughs> so our advice to those people <laughs> who, you know, are contemplating of being in a small group, um, just do it you know um it took us a few years we've been going to flip side for about i think three years and it took us a few years to finally get involved and i wish that we would have gotten involved a lot sooner